by the time that I was 19 years old, I was a teen mother and I had three kids. So in 1993, um, the housing thing that was around my neighborhood was the Rosenwald. And so if you moved in the Rosenwald, you could get Section 8 or cheaper rent. And because of the way it was set up and it was locked off on certain areas, I was like, nah, I'm not going to be able to move there. And so I applied for public housing. Um, They'd reached out to me a couple of times, a letter, just to say you're on the waiting list. And I would call probably once a year. And they would say, um, well, you're getting to be close to, you know, you're in the 99 and 100s. But then as the months would go by and they started knocking the buildings down, I would get knocked back down on the list. So I want to say in probably early 2000, maybe 2004, 2005, um, I was called for the first time to the homes that are like on 106 in Torrance. And at the time, my 19-year-old had just finished school, but he was not working. They informed me that he could not be on my lease. And so I wind up not taking the apartment because there's nowhere in the world that I was going to leave my 19-year-old on the streets. And, you know, they have these things called inspections. And if they find somebody living at your apartment that is not on the lease, they kick you out. And so I wasn't going to have that on me. And so... I've um, I've never been called ever again. I get a letter every now and then to say you're on a waiting list. This is your number. We'll let you know. Um, some years back, I did some calling around to see if I could get in because there's a place on 39th and Lake Park, that tall building um, they built up. And then um, the homes that are on 35th and like Cottage Grove uh, were taking people who had CHA numbers and Lady Luck has not been on my side when it came to CHA and so I've never been called but over the years we found out that they are sitting on millions and billions of dollars and so what is the reason for the housing crisis in Chicago there's no reason whatsoever other than them using the money for a sludge fund I can't see what they're doing you don't see you see them tearing buildings down, but if you look at the places where they have knocked down housing, you don't see a lot of homes go up. Or what you see is mixed incomes, which are a third, a third, and third. A third market rent, a third affordable housing, and then a third subsidized. But those places are either empty or they are not people who make under 40000 like myself. And so it's just about priority. Uh, low income and working families in Chicago are not the priority and it's in everything it's not just in housing it's in education it's in employment it's in everything you can do and so Chicago is not the Chicago I knew in the 80s there are millions and millions of homeless people you know how many mothers you know how many times I haven't eaten at night to make sure my kids eat because I gotta pay this bill or I can't afford something mothers and families sacrifice for that all the time I'm pretty sure my mother went through the same thing and so there is a need for affordable housing and what they're calling affordable a thousand dollars that's not affordable to a family who's only bringing in 2500 a month that, that's not affordable